Hey folks, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Snapdragon Vivo Book S Snapdragon X Elite laptop that I got for $5.99 that you could get on Micro Center and there's various other deals. We're going to be doing more gaming tests in the very end. I'm going to showcase some of the DaVinci Resolve performance. Um, so let's just take a look at how Helldivers runs and kind of the purpose of the games tested today are just to showcase uh, specifically, you know, I've done a lot of Mac gaming videos, which is Apple Silicon, which is essentially ARM. And here in Windows 11 ARM, there's a new version out along with a new Snapdragon uh, 1.2. 0.121 drivers that you could get uh, showcased in my previous video. I just wanted to talk about how um, you know more gaming capabilities is possible with Windows 11 ARM compared to Mac and also some of the performance where you can actually see that how good the Apple Silicon devices are. Now of course I have an M1 Max compared to this but still the idea is that in the translation layers with crossover, wine, etc. you get pretty good Windows performance but um, Obviously, Windows 11 ARM has anti-cheat functionality and stuff of that. So basically, as I've been doing that intro, hopefully you've been noticing on the screen that the settings are basically set to low. And for most games that I test today and I'll showcase, a lot of them are set to low and paralleling that back to what we get in Mac performance. Now, obviously, this game doesn't run on Mac where you have to run it offline because of anti-cheat, but typically, I've always found that most games that I run on crossovers are all actually ultra settings maxed out, but the resolution is 1500, so keep that in mind. This device, obviously, I'm scaling down the video performance, the display graphics, and also putting everything to low. But with that said, if you are looking for basically a cheap laptop running Windows 11 ARM, which has its benefits, and which I'll get into later, um, essentially, you are able to play more games at least for my testing um and don't take like obviously things are always updating the mac is always updating stuff of that nature but um yeah i just find that you know i have a rtx 4080 laptop i have a desktop um i think this is like playable for the device that it is the fans in my opinion don't turn on when gaming and it doesn't even get that hot i'm not exactly sure if there's some kind of setting that they're throttling or I don't know, but whatever the performance is that I'm getting, um, it seems pretty good to me um, in terms of like actually being able to play the game. Now, obviously, coming from a dedicated graphics card, I'm specking things out, the fan's on, but I put on my gaming headphones, can't really hear the fan. Maybe my wife gets bothered by it, or sometimes when she's working next to me, she's like, hey, like your computer's getting really hot. Uh, but with that said, um, you know, just being able to actually play the game, in my opinion, over 30 frames per second is a win for, you know, Qualcomm. Obviously, you could run into getting AMD uh, or even now Intel with their iGPUs being good. Um, but I, in my opinion, let's talk about some of the Windows 11 ARM benefits and Snapdragon is like when you shut down the laptop, it sleeps automatically. As far as I know, Windows on x86, x64 chips, they've never been able to figure out how to sleep properly and not lose battery. No joke, I gave this, I had this laptop, I was gonna give it to my dad, etc. stuff happened. They literally just had it like for three months, low, closed the lid on a table. When I went back home, I was like, you guys aren't even using it. I just opened it up and like the battery was at 90%. So wasn't plugged in, wasn't anything. So. I'm not even sure if a Windows laptop would do that. It probably would hibernate and then you could say it's not doing it. But like, I'm talking about open the lid, instantly turned on, but like what, like wasn't shut off. It like instantly showed the Windows screen. So I'm getting into other things besides gaming of like the total package. If you need a lightweight machine, this is lighter than the M1 Max 14 inch. Um, and if you live by a micro center, you can try to get this or in my opinion, try to find a Snapdragon X Elite. And there are going to be the new ones coming out, so we'll see how that performance is. But just from an overall perspective, I think as a gaming or a gaming capable laptop, I will say, um, you know, compared to the M1 Max or even, M, you know, Apple's looking M4 Pro, there's always the Mac compatibility issues where sometimes things don't run. But for the most part, I think Crossovers does run games pretty well, but they don't have anti cheat. So, um, it's a trade-off between Apple Silicon and Mac, but in my opinion, running Windows 11 ARM kind of narrows the gap of, you know, Mac to Windows because the sleep 
it's it's actually snappier in my opinion like just when you click things they instantly launch i don't know why arm does this but it just is faster in my opinion so i've been ranting a lot about windows but if you want to go from a pure gaming perspective obviously there are what amd laptops that are going for a thousand dollars um so yeah a lot of ranting over gameplay footage let's let's get into other games so one game that is available on max um and friends now on screen dragon or snapdragon sorry is um the, so i had to actually not enable cloud saves because last time i enabled it i think there's a bug where it like doesn't work um, but with that said once you kind of disable that you should be able to get it running so like i mentioned in the beginning of this video it's crazy we're literally five minutes in this video of me just ranting and we're in the second game all of this to say is that things are still running on low um for some reason when i did the performance setting it still went to ultra but once you manually put everything down to low we can run some benchmarks um tldr if you want to skip the section is basically it runs 30 frames per second and even when i restarted the game it still was 30 frames per second everything low so um you'll later see as i go into the gameplay um it still is 30 frames per second but windows game bar didn't capture i'm not exactly sure why so even when resetting it, because um, it said to do a restart, I'm not exactly sure if FSR2 is even running, um, and, I'll, and I'm not sure, did they never put FSR3 in this? Um, but yeah, still running 30 frames per second. Maybe there's a thing where Screen Drag, wow, I keep saying that, Snapdragon will do something similar to what Apple did. I'm not sure if it's a wine thing or whatnot, but they are able to hijack the NVIDIA DLLs and put their own version. Uh, I'm not sure if they want to support that technology or not, but basically I think that what I think Mac has done is they have some setting where it like emulates and says it's a AMD graphics card or a, a NVIDIA graphics card. I'm not sure if that makes things run better or not, but I think there's a long way to go for uh, Snapdragon to improve their performance. Now, like I mentioned, there is no uh, FPS counter, but it was 30 frames per second. And because I don't have cloud saves, I'm actually playing this from the beginning. If you've watched like all my previous videos, I literally am doing the same thing every year. Same screen save, because the only game I play, no joke, is Dota 2. But um, make these videos to like, get people watching, and I get $5 a video. Unless you use my affiliate links, then I'll get $1 if you buy something. Anyways, um, yeah, this is the performance of Red Dead Redemption 2. So the next games will be Dark Tide. Um, so again, I always show this, but just to reiterate for people who want to see, we go to the low settings, it's running at 1080p performance mode, FSR 3. Um, I'll say it's a hit or miss with frame gen. Um, you'll later see like some games run better some games don't there's also another setting in windows in this new update um so i'm running canary version apparently you don't have to use canary to get the avx avx2 avm avx2 whatever it's called settings all that to say is that on this canary version i'm running with the 1.2 latest uh graphics this game runs at 30 frames per second um the steam performance overlay on the top left it shows that it's running FSR 40 frames per second. I did get a crash um, when trying to load after reload the game and relaunch, but I was able to actually get into some gameplay footage, which we'll showcase now. So once the game kind of relaunches, I'm not sure if it's always going to crash, but from my testing, it did crash. You can see here the performance of the game, the graphical quality. Um, for some reason, my DaVinci. For some reason, when I record, sometimes it showcase the screen. So sometimes I go blind in my audio voiceover. Um, all this to say, everything is on low again, just double checking that there's anything I can't turn off. And this game is kind of dark. So, um, yeah. One thing I'll note is that I wasn't sure if there was a network issue or a frame gen or stuff like that, but you kind of see the stuttering. Um, I'm not sure if it's a server issue. Um, maybe more tests are needed, but playable, playable. Um, so this recording, obviously, there's OBS recording. Some of these videos or some of them I use. Apparently, I forgot that snipping tool, snipping tool, which is Command Shift S on Windows, allows you to record video now. Um, and I would still recommend OBS, even though I can't. Someone put a comment that there's OBS arm. I couldn't find it. But all this to say is that. Um, 
yeah, there's no sound for these videos, unfortunately. Um, so now I will always use OBS so I can always record, but hopefully you guys like listening to my voice. Apparently people do because I have 2 million views overall on the channel. Um, but yeah, uh, what I want to say, this game runs, um, except for the stutter, but I think it's playable again for a 599 laptop. Micro Center has some for Snapdragon Plus. I don't have that. Obviously, this is X Elite. I don't know the exact difference or core difference. Um, I'd imagine on the Plus, you'd probably get 25 frames per second or something like that. So if you could find this device, it has 32 gigabytes of RAM, OLED, Windows 11 ARM. It's the Asus Vivo Book S. I think it's great. 15 uh, weighs pretty lighter than my M1 Max 14 inch. So it's portable, fans don't turn on when I'm gaming the whole time. And it, it, to me, it didn't get hot, though. Obviously, you know, people rag on me in my YouTube comments that oh, I should be running fan performance, stuff of that nature. All this to say, um, yeah, just game game is playable. Next up on the list is Cyberpunk. Obviously, MacBook, if we're going to do like a comparison type of thing in this video. I've shown the performance native version M1 Max runs what 70 frames per second. The crossover version, which is um, running the Windows version, just got some updates. Um, also runs almost comparably to native um, at 73 frames per second. So crossovers is always getting good performance or always getting updated. Um, here we're running on low. I think there's a bug or something. I'm not sure if it's uh, like Snapdragon. Uh, drivers or whatnot, but it has to be in Windows mode. So that's why some of the games they run in Windows mode because full screen doesn't work. Um, I also found that frame gen is, I think, busted in this game. Um, but 30 frames per second on low, window mode, runnable. Um, if there's one thing to say, Mac gaming, um, when it's supported, runs better than this machine, 599. Now, one could make the argument also that I made previous in this video that, hey, me, you could get AMD, what, 760M, 860Ms for like $1,000, but you have the fan. I actually had a Z for a G14 I bought. I bought the G16. I didn't even make a video on it. I used it for like a week, and then I returned it. Um, you had to use G Helper, closing it, opening it. Um, it's kind of buggy, hibernated. Um this to me, this machine performs what I like about Max closing it, opening it, not losing battery. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for an overall device, I just think obviously I'm moving away from gaming as a and turning into dad mode. Obviously, I'm still finding time to make videos because uh, my kid is sleeping 15 hours a day now, um, getting big, but his brain's grown. All this to say, um. Yeah, I'm not prioritizing gaming. Obviously, I did before with the RTX 480 laptop. If you need a lightweight machine, there are, in my opinion, AMD options seem good. I've never tested Lunar Lake, so I can't give like my opinion. It's all just benchmarks of me theory crafting. But I did have the AMD H HX 3070M G14 with the 4070. And yeah, I returned it because... It was okay. It obviously could game with the 4070 and even the 860. Uh, what is it? Eight. What is that graphic chart? Intel graphic chart. I'm, I'm, I think it's better than 860M. But yeah, just some of the closing laptop bugs, stuff of that nature. Um, needing G helper. I, it also didn't last as long as this. <laughs> that's one thing I didn't even talk about. This laptop battery life is pretty darn good, and you could run on low performance mode, even get way better. Um, from obviously I'm at home most of the time, but from my testing, I would estimate it gets like eight hours of decent use on Teams if you have a work day, etc. Um, so yeah. More ranting. This this video is a long rant, man. Quick little snippet here. GTA 5 Advanced doesn't run on Mac. For some reason doesn't run on my machine either here. I have seen people on YouTube though run this uh run this before, so not sure if it's Canary or the latest, but it doesn't run. Hopping into Spider-Man, which I've tested in Agnosium on my channel, typically on M1 Max, again running on Windows, windowed mode because um actually I'm not sure I'm running this one. This does run on full screen, but frame generation definitely busted. Um but yeah. 
on the M1 Max, if you guys remember my other channels, it runs at the 15 um, resolution, not retina resolution. Obviously, I'm not even running this one on its full resolution. Um, but yeah, playable performance, I think it's better on the Mac, M1 Max at least. Um, yeah, as you'll see here, when we turn frame gen on, it just crawls. Um, I don't remember... Maybe I need to show my other videos. I thought that frame gen was working, but like not actually boosting it that well on this game. But yeah, trying to click through, it's like can't even click through the menus. It's just yeah, unplayable. Um, so yeah, I did want to showcase here that as Windows keeps updating, there is this option. You actually right click executables, go into compatibility, and then do emulation settings. I actually forgot I had this turned off the latest ARM uh, AVM X settings, which I think made it perform better when I was first testing it. And then obviously I forgot as I'm recording. Um, but you can see here now this has the emulation and in my opinion runs a little worse. Um, yeah, I definitely think there's some testing going on with this is Canary version. Windows, I assume, will keep updating ARM because that's what their Surface laptop is running. There's a new Qualcomm coming out, so we're going to get the second generation of this. Um, so I think there's a long tail trajectory of these laptops. Even if you get this 599 first generation of Snapdragon X Elite, um, we'll continue to get better as Windows keeps updating it, as Qualcomm keeps making drivers. I fully expect this to be able to run all these games that I showcase in 60 frames per second when FSR starts working better, or um, Qualcomm makes their own version of upscaling and frame gen. I mean, if Apple could hook into NVIDIA DLLs and make it run F Metal FX, what is the difference between Apple and, Qual and Qualcomm? I'm not sure. I mean, billion dollar company, what, what is the revenue of, of Qualcomm? I mean, there has to be some software developers um, if they're making these chips um, and especially, or even Windows, I don't know, because like Apple is pushing for games to be pushed. I mean, obviously Apple's like way in from my, not even researching, just ranting, has more money. I mean, their AirPods alone make, I think as much as Tesla, it's crazy. But anyways, yeah. Here is my, what is a 17 minute video somehow of just me ranting. If you guys have been listening to this the whole time, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, help the channel out by clicking some affiliate links I have below. I maybe need to find an affiliate link for this laptop. I got it from Micro Center, but if not, just likes and comments help. Um, kids still sleeping. Life is good. Hope everyone's doing well. I recommend this laptop if you want portability, maybe you're going to college, don't want fans on, don't want, and you know, maybe I need to think about Ultrabooks and make a video on that of like not gaming laptops that look sleek, are portable, have good battery life. I mean, it's definitely the AMD in my opinion, but I haven't tested out Intel, but yeah, let me know if uh, that's some of the stuff you want to see in this channel and I'm honestly trying to also pivot into showing some AI stuff, but might have to make a personal channel or just put it all on my personal channel. Anyways, enjoy life, folks. Take care.